Hello everyone, I am Ankur Gupta and I work as a Java developer in Mindfire Solutions. This is my 10th video on Jasper report. In this video, I will be talking about how to use cascading parameters in Jasper reports and as to what concepts will go in in solving this kind of cascading parameters issues. And I will basically also talk about how to set this uh, report on Jasper server as well. So to start with the concept of uh, this dollar uh, $x in brackets uh, in comma db field comma cascade parameter. Now in this type of uh, this is basically the collection parameter. Suppose you are using, uh, it could be a collection parameter or a, or a, a multi-select parameter or whatever we need to have in our report as we need a multi-select or a single select or a radio or anything, whatever may be the requirement. So this is how it should be in the where clause of the report. Like uh, the DB field basically is the field which we want to link up with the previous value of the parameter. So the DB field in case of a country would be the country and the cascade parameter country will get the user input from the uh, parameter. Cascade parameter is the parameter which is taking the values from the user. So that cascade parameter is linking up with the DB field to generate a where clause. So this is how things are done like uh, this seems to be a bit complex but basic concept is that we need to find a equal of the parameter entered by user and put it into the SQL query so that the where clause gets modified and we get a filtered uh, parameter select in the next next parameter basically one base of the previous parameter so to start with let me just tell you what are the prerequisites for this uh, tutorial. First of all, you need a working Jasper server uh, installation on your system. For this, I will use a 5.0.2 community edition of the Jasper server. And the then to open the Jasper server, you need to go to localhost 80 uh, localhost 8080 slash Jasper server. Then you need to log in with the credential as Jasper admin and Jasper admin for the password as well. And in the report, you need to test it on iReport and if it's working on iReport, then it's a like green signal to go on to deploy on the server as those results would be like main uh, UI is provided by Jasper server. Uh, as in the multi-select queries which you will see or uh, the single select query or drop downs which you would see uh, basically things looks at a uh, user end basically the end user end so without wasting much time I will just move on to the demo portion of this video so I have already make a, made a report uh, demonstrating a cascading parameter. So this is the report how it looks like. I have I have simply used a SQL JDBC connection. I'm using MySQL for this. In this uh, the query which I've used here is select star from person is my table. Now this is the portion which I want you to concentrate upon. Now this where come where clause, this dollar x, the same thing we discussed earlier, in and I am selecting country as multi-select. So I'm multi-selecting the countries there. So so will be an array which is passed here. So that array needs to be looked up into this country. And mind you one thing that these parameters which are used in uh, here in this clause needs to be a collection uh, which uh, which could be a collection or a normal thing but 
it produces a collection of things or uh, to target something so this works basically uh, with collections so now uh, this is the profession and this is profession multi select profession is one of the column in my in my table as you could see here profession and there is country so see this is my this is my db field this is my cascade parameter this is my db field again country this is my cascade parameter now in order to run this in i reports what we need to do is set a default value so the default value i'm setting for this country is like there are two countries which i have used in this table are india and italy so i'm just making a new array of uh, data like as i have uh, set the value as collection so i need to pass a collection for the default value as well so now we need to set the same for the profession so two pro two professions of the many in, i have defined in my table are engineer and the doctor so i have again put an array as it is a collection accepting thing so and work x i have just entered a, a simple number like 12 as it accepts integer for designing part i have just displayed these into the into the title so that it it is pretty more clear so it will show you what all parameter values have i selected and the name age and gender three are the columns i am using and that's all for the designing portion let me just preview this i am using the default value i have shown you default value again and the default value for the work x as well so here is how it looks like the number of name age gender and the things which got selected are basically india and italy in the country which i have defined as a default profession engineer and doctor and the work x as well so pretty simple looking report let me just show you in jasper server as well so let me start from the beginning the id would be local host jasper server again i have to need to log in here okay so i have just created a report already here i will just edit it and take you through so this is the grxml i have already uploaded here so i won't uh, change that the same grxml I, we have made in this i report in control and resources is what i would like to see show you all like what are the things which you need to do so country multi select let's start with next so it's a multi select query it selects country multi select and remember the name of this parameter should be exactly same as you use in the i report then it should be mandatory then you need to define a query as we selected a multi select query country multi select the name of the query i have used i am using the sample sql db which i have made a connection i will show you how to uh, where to place exactly the jar file for the sample for the any other mysql or any other thing so i will show you and this is the query which i have used select distinct country as i want distinctly the countries present in my db i am ordering by country as well that's it for the parameter and for showing purpose i just used the value i will need as country and the visible columns are country as well so the profession multi select now again we are defining the input control now this is again a multi select query could be any single select query also multi select this is the name mandatory and visible 
same as the previous one. Again, I will define a query for this. Profession multi select. The same uh, sample SQL DB which I have told you, I will show you how to link it up. And this is the query basically. Now, here is the twist basically. Now, we need a distinct profession in country as I'm taking a distinct profession and the country I'm just taking for uh, labeling purposes. I will show you what I mean by that. From persons and where X in country and country multi select should be exactly the same the previous uh, the thing which you have uh, ordered and the multi select country multi select is uh, the same parameter which we defined in the in previously uh, like a minute ago and we order it by country and then profession. Let me just save this. Now here what I was showing for the labeling purposes. For the profession is the value which I want to pass after selection and visible column is country and profession so that we don't have confusion as in like uh, if we select India all the all the posts like CA lecturer or doctor should be there and I don't want to mix it up with any other like USA doctors I don't want to mix it up with India doctors so we would confuse basically like doctor doctor coming up so I just place the country there. So that defines basically how it will look like or how which country it defines to. So I will just show you it will make things clear. And work X is my last parameter. I'm defining it again. And this is a work X name. I'm using a single select query. And this is the define a query. We will define a query for a single select query. Work X and again the same sample SQL DB and the query is a simple query like where we need to add in both of these parameters as in the collection the the dollar X uh, expression so this is for it now we need to select the work X all the work X no, no need of distinct and all we need a work X so we will save it I just want to show work X and pass the work X to the front end as well so the data source we will link up it up with sample SQL DB again no query as we have already wrote, uh, written the query in the report and let's submit this so now let's run this report. So as you could see on the left hand side, it's getting modified. If I click here, Africa, it's Africa, CA, doctor, engineer. So this is what I was talking about the labeling thing. So let me select Africa and India. See, so this is how things will come. So America all too. So America and Italy. So see America CA Italy doctor I want to use. So I'm selecting these two. And work X I am looking for is 13. Let me apply this. See the country I choose is America Italy. Profession I use is CA doctor. And work X is 13 again. So pretty simple looking thing and say it looks beautiful on this Jasper server. Now let me just show you where to place the jar files. Now the data source I was talking about was sample SQL DB and in the newer version like I guess 5.0.0 above there is already a definition of this driver and if there is like if we try to test this it will work connection pass sometimes it throws error so for that what we need to do is we need to look for the installation folder and apache tomcat 
in their library and place our uh, our uh, jar file over here see i have placed mysql connector.jar so that is how basically i have been successful in connecting it into it so pretty simple the path will be jasper uh, the installation file apache tomcat and the library so that's all for the demo hope you like my video if you like my video you could uh, add me on twitter or follow me on twitter uh, my twitter handle is ampur underscore aug you could follow me on facebook you could also view my profile on linkedin and you could even visit my blogspot that is www.ankurthetechie.blogspot.in here you could grab some more information on jasper as well or you could g plus me simply thank you for watching my video you could also visit the official website of mindfair solutions on www.mindfairsolutions.com and even post views and comments on my video and if you have some queries or questions you can also put them in comments I will love to answer them. Thank you.